Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt Kiteboarding. Today I'm gonna to talk with you about what you need to go wingboard. So maybe you just got your gear, you're making a little checklist, make sure you have everything you need when you go to the beach. Uh, you can even click on the eye icon here, jump into our website blog pages and get this written down so you can have a little physical checklist if you want. Uh, but this video is gonna be the very basic, what do you need to go wing successfully? Make sure you're not leaving anything at home. Make sure you got everything from the store that you need. All right, so the first most basic things, obviously, you've got your wing, your inflatable wing. Is that everything you need for the wing? No, it's not. Some wings don't come with a leash. Uh, so if you forgot a leash with your Duotone wing or for 2023 Cabrina wings, gonna need a leash, board leash, or uh, excuse me, a wing leash uh, for the wing. So if you forgot that, give us a ring, we can get you hooked up with the right one. Uh, or maybe you have a surf leash at home that can work while you're waiting. Secondly, you have your pump, that's great. But do you have the right pump adapter? Each brand has its own kind of pump adapter. So you wanna make sure you have the right uh, pump hose adapter to connect to your wing. Some don't use any adapter at all, it's just the hose end. Other ones, you need a very specific adapter to fit your wing. Some brands include them with your wing in the accessory pouch, but sadly some don't. Uh, so if you don't have your adapter, you're not gonna be able to successfully wing. Go ahead and give us a call if, uh, if you don't know if you have that in your wing pouch or if you just need to buy one, uh, or maybe your, your pump already has it, so be sure to check there as well. All right, so you got your wing complete. You've got your leash. You've got your pump, pump adapter. Uh, that's gonna allow you to inflate your wing and go have some fun safely with your wing, whether that's with a paddle board or a wing board, uh, whatever. Uh, so onto the boards. If it, no matter what board you have, you're gonna need a leash. So make sure you got a board leash. Uh, and foiling especially, calf or waist leash tend to work the best, but you can use an ankle leash as well. Uh, so you know, in a pinch, go ahead and do that. But ideally, you know, hook into your calf or your waist is going to allow you to get up off the water and not trip you up when you're moving your feet around. Um, but as I said, even if you're just riding a paddle board, you're learning just to cruise on the water, make sure you have a leash because when you fall, that board's going to drift more quickly than you can swim. Um, so be sure to have a leash so it just keeps it within, uh, within reach and so you don't end up in a bad situation, unsafe situation, so you always want to ride with a leash. Uh, definitely don't forget about that and uh, get, a, get a hold of us if you have any questions about which one is right for you uh, or if you just need to snag one, you have a price point or whatever, and we'll get you set up. All right, so obviously after that, your board. You need your board, of course, so make sure you grab that. If you're using a foil, you got your foil. Make sure you got hardware. Not all brands include the hardware. Not all brands include the board to foil connection hardware. Uh, so you'll definitely want to check that at home. Make sure you got everything you need. And uh, of course, sometimes there's packing errors as well in the factory. So get that stuff all in line, sort it out, make sure you got everything you need before you head to the beach and get really disappointed. Uh, of course, reach out to us if you need anything. Foil, board, everything else should be fairly good to go and uh, get to the beach, have your fun. Um, last thing, new riders, you shouldn't be using foot straps. We don't suggest that because of the risk of your injury to your ankle and your knees. Uh, but if you are a more experienced rider and you want to use foot straps, uh, you may want to make sure you have ones that fit on your board in the proper orientation that you like as a, a personal rider and that they have the right screws uh, for that. Now the majority of boards out there use the same windsurf style, big threaded uh, self-tapping screws, uh, but there are a few out there that are a little different. Uh, Starboard, for instance, that we sell uses a bigger screw. So if you're using a starboard board, make sure you got those bigger diameter self-tapping screws to get yourself set up. All right, so that's the basics of it, kids, other than you know maybe your wetsuit or towel or sunscreen, a uh, bottle of water, something like that. But uh, that's the hard goods that'll get you out there on the water and some issues you know that you may encounter uh, putting that together are things that would prohibit you from going out and riding and having a good old time. So go ahead and write that down or print out a sheet from our website Make sure you got everything you need to get out there and have some fun. If you have any questions at all, reach out to us here at the shop. Phone, live chat, email, uh, telegraph, whatever, man. Get a hold of us and we'll get you help, uh, get you taken care of. This has been Tucker with Matt Kiteboarding and we'll see you next time.